Welcome back. Time now is 920. We got an event for all the Knox County music fans and beyond out there. The Rail Yard Pop-Up Concert is bringing a musical experience that showcases local talent, what's being touted as an evening you will not want to miss. We got Kate, the president of the Downtown Community Partnership of Galesburg here in the house. Kate, good morning. How are you? Good. Doing well. Thank you. Of course. I'm so glad you're here. So much to talk about. And of course, something that I really think is important to talk about when it comes to bringing people up to Knox County, mm -hmm. bringing them in, showing them that, hey, you know what? We can party just as hard as Peoria and Littleton <laughs> normal. Right? I mean, absolutely. Can't we all? Um, no, it's a really good opportunity for people to come and see downtown Galesburg and how much downtown has grown mm -hmm. and how much we have to offer surrounding communities. So. I love it. Let's talk about the concert itself. Yes. What can people expect? What's it really about? So the concert is uh, what I'm calling a pop-up concert. Uh, it's a temporary stage that we're putting up in an empty lot in downtown Galesburg. Um, we're bringing two bands in. Uh, one is a local band that many might know, which is Sun Stereo. Oh, sure. Um, you know, they are a full sound, very exciting band, um, lights, uh, LED dancers, fire dancers, you know, even if they're not your music, they put on an amazing show. So I always encourage people with that. Um, the other band is Audiodacity, and they're from Indianapolis. They're actually some very old friends of mine um, who play a lot in the area. They've actually played with Sun Stereo at other festivals as well. So I'm excited to bring them to Galesburg. I've been trying to get them to come play for Galesburg for a while, so I'm very excited. They're a seven piece. Um, full horns and band, very funky. Uh, they like to call themselves a hyperfusion band. And it's, I mean, blues, reggae, like you see some hip hop in there, very yeah. funky. It's, I mean, you're not going to want to sit for this show. I'll tell you that. Oh, so wear comfy say, shoes is what I I'm hearing. I say bring comfy shoes. We tell people to bring your own seating, but I don't think you're going to need it for the show. <laughs> right. Maybe so, just one of those little golf stools you can yeah, fold up and down. Yeah, just a tiny little seat, maybe. Sure. I mean, I say blanket, but you're not going to need it. So. I love it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about some of the other offerings, too, because mm -hmm. you're going to try and accommodate a lot of food and beverage vendors, too, right? We are. So we this is a gated event, so uh, we are doing a $5 gate entry fee, and that gate entry fee just goes to help support downtown communities community partnership and continuing to produce these events in downtown Galesburg. Um, at the event, we will have uh, liquor and food as well as a coffee truck there for all of our non-alcohol drinkers. Because, um, you know, not everybody likes to abide in the liquor, but that's okay. So <laughs> we got Bar 65 coming with their amazing cocktails. We got a local um, tap house reserve artisan ale coming as well. Okay. Um, a local brew uh, coffee trailer called Tomorrow's Brew. They're actually new to our community, so I'm really excited to kind of give them their um, opening night, if you will, for their trailer. Uh, we also have Smoke and Willie's Barbecue coming as our food for the evening. So This is just as much about making sure you're promoting these local Galesburg businesses as it is, you know, bringing people together, A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I think it goes two folds, right? We want to support our community, support our local businesses, and I also want to display what downtown has by bringing people in, right? So yeah. we want these regional acts because we want people to come into town to follow them. But I also want to support my local. And our community is doing a lot better job at supporting local music. And so now I'm excited to kind of bring in some more regional acts. Let's talk about something else that's exciting here. This is all kind of to bring attention to this possible new venue that might be in the works, correct? Possible. Yeah. So it is a proposed venue um, that the organization that I work for, Downtown Community Partnerships, has been working on. Um, it's called the Rail Yard. It's utilizing an empty lot that's been empty for quite a few years in downtown Galesburg. Um, when I moved back to Galesburg in 2017, I saw this empty lot, and it has, like, the perfect gradient slope. Mm. And when you stand there, you're like, this is an amphitheater. Ooh. Like, it's impossible it not to eye. see it. Okay? Sure. And especially if you have music in your blood in any capacity, you're going to see this space and be like, mm -hmm. this is an amphitheater. Oh. So. You know, it's kind of been years in the working, and um, we've just kind of been working on the proposals. You know, I wish I could have it done last year, but as you know, these projects take time. So every year I am trying to do at least one pop-up that can really display the potential for the space as mm -hmm. we continue to work on the project in the background. For those who maybe want to share that vision and mm -hmm. see how they can get involved or just learn more about the event itself, Kate, where can they go to find more? So a couple places. we uh, You can find us on our website, dcpofgalesburg.org, okay. um, or at DCP of Galesburg on Facebook. So so uh, that'll get you to all of our events, ways that you can volunteer, ways that you can get connected with yeah. our organization. We're always in need of volunteers, and we're a great opportunity just to kind of see 
from the inside what Galesburg really looks like, um, which is a really fun, you know, we got a lot to offer. And I just, I love when people can see that as well. You all are as much a part of the central Illinois community as anywhere else at the end of the day. So yeah, it's worth promoting. Right? It is worth promoting. And I'll tell you, like, we have so much happening in downtown Galesburg right now. Mm -hmm. And so coming in to see good music is a great excuse to then go check out our restaurants, go check out our bars. Mm -hmm. You know, we have an escape room. We've got a couple breweries. There's a lot happening in downtown. And what better reason to come than amazing music? So. You don't know until you try. Yeah, right? absolutely. Kid, thank you so much for coming in today. We appreciate it. Yeah, the time. no problem. Of course. And if, you know what? If you want to see more about this or other events, you can always go to 25newsnow.com, where there's also a chance for you to submit something if you want to get on in the know as well. Talk about cool stuff like this going on, whether it be in Galesburg, or someone else, we'd love to hear from you. Stick around, though. We'll be back for our next half hour in just a few moments.